my mum asked me this, she, she goes, um, what would you like to be? First I started off as a dentist, then I started off as a police officer. And then when we had to choose our subjects, I was like, I want to be an interior designer. Then I changed my mind to a fashion designer. And now I just like, I want to be like someone that can help people and make a difference really in the world and like do a national job where you get to meet new people, speak other languages, really associate with the rest of the world. And I think after I finish sixth form, I would like to go to university and study more and then start my career in, in my life really. What I know about Copa is that it gives you a variety of subjects to choose from. So probably if I get a good education, then I could go or be um, anything that I probably want. There's no barriers for children at COPA to go on to be what they want to be, whether that's university, whether that's an apprenticeship. Um, whatever they want to do, they can do it. And, and a big part of what we've tried to do here is that getting them to believe that often is the hardest thing, but that is where you get the most action in terms of them starting to realise, do you know what, I can go and do that. Like, I've kind of become like a better person, I guess. I believe in myself more. I feel like I was a lot less confident and a lot less, you know, kind of more worried about, just worried and generally, but 2021, I'm like a whole different person. And that's all because of the teachers actually. They also support me academically, but they also support me as my characteristics, as, such as I've become more confident throughout the years. Like, I'm so grateful for the relationship I have with them. They've like really pushed me further, just not like academic wise, but as a person too, and I feel like that's a really big kind of factor in my growth throughout these five years. Now, academic success is what we're here for, it's the core purpose of what we do. You know, children should be leaving COPA with a good set of qualifications. However, for me, in terms of sleeping at night, I would want children to leave here as well-rounded citizens, as people that leave here go to a coffee shop and say, can I have a cup of coffee, please? They say thank you when the server hands it to them. They're the students that I want to be able to say, do you know what, they're Copa kids. The school has definitely improved, um, like massively improved. Um, I think the work that's been put in over the last couple of years has meant that, um, you know, we've done a lot of work on student character, behaviour in lessons and things like that. It's made a big difference inside the classrooms, especially because there was lots of distractions in the classroom, like a lot of distraction, which made it hard for us as the students to learn. As the teachers would um, be focusing more on them, like the behavior wise, to sort them out, go outside, um, have a talk with them, etc. But I would say now, from now, the behavior wise is completely changed. Now, the classroom environment has become much more better, I would say. Now I think we have found our feet and our, we are definitely a rapidly improving sort of school, I would say, and we're in, a, uh, we're in an upward trend. It's very easy in education to take one step forward, two steps back. And consistency is that golden nugget that everyone wants in a school. Um, and, and often schools are striving for that for long periods of time. But ultimately, if every single staff member understands the core vision, the core purpose of what we're trying to achieve, consistency becomes easier to achieve. Absolutely. I think if you get to a position where the students know that when they go into your lesson, this is what they expect. I think you're in a very, very strong position to teach them anything, pretty much, and about anything. That consistency for day in, day out. When you come in, this is what I expect. This is what you're going to see. When you're going out, 
this is how you expect it to happen. When you're answering a question, this is how I like it to be. I think um, that's really powerful. Routines, consistency, they go a very long way. One thing that we're really improving on as a school is consistency, getting the right people in, um, you know, really trying to consider students and what's going to work well for them. The children here deserve the best and the best starts with the best people for them, not necessarily the most qualified. Yeah, I mean, teachers are extremely welcoming. I mean, every teacher, I've, basically every teacher I've ever had has always been just the best and gave the highest quality of learning possible. The students that come here, they're lovely. Um, you want to work for them, so um, you know you really feel like you are really making a difference to students. Um, so that's been a real like that. Is, that is like one of the nicest parts about my job. I think it is important, you know, you know, within any organisation, there needs to be that mutual respect. Um, and I think that that is that that exists here. You know, you will have pupils that will be stepping out of line. I mean, my son has certainly stepped out of line a couple of times and has needed that you know, strong words, or there needs to be that structure in place that allows that. And it makes it easier um, to be able to have that conversation with someone who maybe hasn't, you know, perhaps doing what they should be doing or being where they should be. I think they're a very supportive school. Um, I, I think probably a couple of years ago, I would have been concerned that they concentrated mainly on those groups of students and didn't, didn't push their higher achieving students but I think that is changing and I've certainly noticed a lot more uh, in the last year. No child gets left behind here and inclusion was a big part of that for me. Um, we're really lucky that we've been identified for that, you know, the, the flagship award that we've, we've received recently, only 155 schools up and down the UK have that. An inclusive school has provisions that different students for different needs can access and they can feel safe and secure. If you're going to be a truly inclusive school, you have to have an inclusive nature for every child in your academy. Yeah, I feel like they do really care about like every single student and they do try to make extra everyone at like school feel safe at school because like you kind of need to feel safe at school because you come here like, I don't know, six to nine hours, a day. I don't know, I don't calculate. I'm elated to come to work each and every day, uh, purely because each class is different. I can, I can teach the same set of skills uh, to each class but then what they do with those skills is completely different and it does amaze me each and every single lesson what I teach them and then how they take that forward and then what they bring to the table. It is really really exciting. It's like don't judge a book by its cover really kind of thing. Um, it's completely unjust especially on the teachers as well here because all of them are exceedingly amazing so I think it's unfair to judge it on its previous like um, sins of the father. I feel really happy um, from year seven till now, yes, definitely. Especially this year, actually. Especially this, this year, in year 10, I feel much happy about the school because it's changed massively throughout the years. I've got every confidence that COPA can be a top performing school in the city. The first part of that, as I've said, is that people want to come here. They see us as a true community school. They think, I want to send my child to COPA because I know they're going to get a great education and they're going to support them in becoming a great, a fantastic young person. There's no reason why we can't do that. There's nothing to stop us from doing that. Like I've said before, you know, we don't necessarily have the extravagant buildings or the shiny white walls that, that may perhaps a new build does, but what we do is have soul and character. And I believe that that's what families want when they look at people teaching their children. And that's why I don't think anything needs to stand in our way of becoming that, that school that everyone in the city wants to go to.